In the third test, the South African cricketers spent half the day batting themselves into a corner, then the rest of the day trying to bat themselves out again, and with some glimmer of success. Responding to Australia's 554, the visitors made a dismal 154, McGrath, Warren and McGill sharing the bowling honours. Forced to follow on, South Africa is two for 209, still needing 191 to make Australia bat again. From the third ball of day three, Got him! Knocked him over! Things went from bad to worse for South Africa. 22 years old today. Big shout. Justin Ontong's birthday was also gate crashed by Shane Warne. Glenn McGrath's third victim, Sean Pollock. Another one, seven wickets. For just 111 runs. While turning to take one more, Nicky Boyer's slip continued South Africa's slide. That's a tragedy, that's a tragedy. A different kind of dive. Oh, that's beautifful, take it. By Ricky Potting removed Mark Boucher for 35. Stuart McGill joined Warren and McGrath taking three wickets each. South Africa all out before lunch and still 400 runs behind. In the Proteus second innings, Brett Lee went timber cutting. Oh, he's gone. Well, he's knocked the stump right out of the ground. Cameras creating the illusion of Herschel Gibbs walking off uphill. One down, it could have been two, but for a rare drop by Mark Waugh, allowing Gary Kirsten and Boyta Dipinar to become the first tourist this test to pass 50. Their face-saving 149-run stand allowed the umpires to have a bit of fun. On 74, Catch! the dance stopped for Dipinar. Jacques Cullis continued the fight back with Kirsten, bringing the best out in Lee's fielding. And he does a the fast bowler shaking up Kirsten. Oh, that's a nasty one. Before apologising, South Africa still trailing Australia by 191 runs. Andrew McKinlay for Nightline.